Welcome to this video. We are going to do an example kinematics problem involving uniform acceleration. Here we go. Okay, we have a jet that accelerates uniformly from positive 36 meters per second to positive 230 meters per second in 123 seconds. Find the jet's acceleration during this period. That's part A. Part B, find how far forward how far forward the jet travels during this interval. Your first task, and this is always the way you start in these types of problems, you list the givens. Do that work, show it on your page, you will get credit for it on the test. So the first number that we're given is this positive 36 meters per second. Now you can't just write positive 36 meters per second, you have to indicate what that is in the equations. Is it delta x? Is it vi? Is it t? Vf? Right? Uh, which one is that? Well, first of all, you see it's meters per second. Whenever you see meters per second, you know it's going to be a velocity or a speed. Here we're dealing with velocity. So it's a velocity. But is it the initial, the initial velocity, or is it the final? Well, it accelerates from 36 meters per second to 230 meters per second. So 36 meters per second is the starting velocity or the initial velocity at the beginning of this 123 seconds. And then 230 meters per second, that's the final velocity. It's a velocity because it has, whoops, it's a velocity because it has meters per second and it's the final because that's what it accelerates to at the end. And 123 seconds, because it has seconds, that's a unit of time, so this is the time interval we are considering. We're considering that time interval when we do, uh, when we undergo this acceleration. So first we have to find the acceleration in part A. Part A is to find A. Haha. <laughs> Whoops. A equals, so that's what, that's what I like to do. And then part B, find how far forward. Ah, how far is distance? Forward is, is a direction. So part B is asking us to find the displacement. And because it says forward, right, forward, is that on the x-axis or the y-axis? Forward usually means like this way, you know, to the right is how I think of forward. So that's the x-axis. So we will be using delta x, not, whoops, not delta y. We will not use delta y because we're moving forward along the x-axis. We're not moving on the y-axis. Part A, find the acceleration. What you do is you look for the equation which has vi, vf, t, and a. So let's see, this has vi, vf, and t, uh, but it doesn't have a. So let's keep looking. Hmm vi, t, uh, delta x again, vf, vi, t, and a. There it is. I found the equation with my three givens and my one unknown. All right, you write the equation, vf minus vi over t. You substitute in, substitute the value of vf, substitute in the value of vi and the value of t. Vf is 230, 230 meters per second. Vi is 36, also positive meters per second. And the time that it took to make that change in velocity is 123 seconds. So we get our old calculator out, Mr. Buttons, my old friend, Mr. Buttons. 230 minus 36, and divide that all by 1, 2, 3. And it's one point, we'll just give it two sig figs for now, 1.6 meters per second per second, or meters per second squared. You could write it either way. And it came out positive. Acceleration has a direction, so I'm going to put the positive. In part B, you're doing the exact same thing, but now you're finding the displacement. So you look for the equation that has any, we now have four givens. Right? We know all of these things. We know vi, we know vf, we know t, we know a. So you look for an equation that has delta x as well as three of these. 
I'm going to use this first one right here. It has delta x, vi, vf, and t. So I write the equation, delta x equals, actually you don't need to write the equation, you can just substitute in values, right? One half vi plus vf times the time, t. So what was my vi? It was 36 meters per second. Uh, the final VF was, final velocity was 230, so you put 230 meters per second, and we're going to multiply that all by 123 seconds. This is hard to see what I'm writing, isn't it? Look at what happens when you distribute 123 seconds. The seconds gets distributed to this value in the parentheses, and to this value, and the seconds will cancel out with that, and with that, so you'll be left with a unit of meters. You plug this into the calculator, plug in that calculation, Mr. Buttons, let's see, 36 plus 20, 230, and then times 123, and you get, wow, that thing went really far, 16359. It is fine right now in this to give an exact answer, um, there's that answer, you box your answer. Oops, I should put positive because displacement has a direction and the displacement is in the positive direction in this case. Good to box your answer. It's okay to not worry about sig figs right now. So this is the type of work that I expect to see and will grade you on in the test. I'll want to see a list of givens and unknowns. I'll want to see this step where you're using the equation and plugging in values. And I want to see this, your final answer with units. So likewise, this and this will want to, you will want to show.